Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker and thank you for watching Texas Family Insurance. Today we're going to talk about losing insurance and still being able to afford asthma medication and asthma care. So, 9% of all children under the age of 18 have asthma. It is the number one chronic medical condition for kids. Now, because of the coronavirus pandemic, 40 million Americans are now out of a job and 1.8 million Texans are out of a job. And guess what? Like half those jobs provided insurance for those families. And like 9% of those families have kids with asthma. So with all these families losing their health insurance, but still having people in the household that have asthma, we need some answers. So what we're gonna do is walk through the cost for asthma care without insurance and asthma care with insurance. So let's start off with our uh, Albuterol nebulizer treatments, pretty common, right? Breathing mask that goes on the face. Without insurance, costs about $13 for a box of albuterol. An inhaler costs about $29 without insurance. And the steroid to go in the nebulizer, it's called budesonide, it's about $65 uh, for a box. Now, with insurance, the albuterol nebulizer box is only $3. The inhaler is only $10. And the steroid uh, through the nebulizer is only $10. So, if you went through all of those, let's say in a month, now some people don't use that much in a month, maybe two, three months to use an entire box, but without insurance it costs you $107, with insurance it would only cost you $23, so that's $84 less, and if that was multiplied you know, by every month, 12 months, you're talking over $1,000 a year more expensive without the insurance. And oftentimes people with asthma require more than just the nebulizer treatments and the inhaler, right? So oftentimes they have to go to the pediatrician without insurance. Oftentimes a pediatrician visit is going to be about $80. But with many of the insurance plans, you can have that primary care pediatrician visit either for free or for a $20 copay. Likewise, there's a lot of urgent care visits. It happens in the middle of the night, what have you. You don't necessarily go to the ER, but you go to urgent care. That could be like $200 without insurance. But with insurance, again, the copay could be like $15 to $75. So that means that the office visits and the doctor care would be about you know $620 less per year if you had like four pediatrician visits and a couple of urgent care visits over the course of the year. So you add the thousand bucks plus the 620, that gets you to $1,628 less expensive if you actually had insurance. Now, we now need to take into account, okay, well, what would be the premium for that insurance? What, how much would you have to pay for that insurance? So. On the Affordable Care Act exchange, and the Affordable Care Act was passed in 2010 to offer people who don't qualify for Medicaid, but no longer have insurance through their job, a way to get a government subsidy. So the reason why the insurance copay amounts for the medications and the doctor visits are less is because the government actually gives money to the insurance company to make those copays lower and to make your premiums lower. So. If you go to Texas Family Insurance, you can actually check to see how much of a subsidy you would qualify for, how much your premium would be for your particular situation, and you can even start enrolling in that insurance if you want to. So, if you have asthma or you have someone in your family with asthma, this is something you should consider. And thank you for watching Texas Family Insurance.